What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy here back again with another fragrance video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. And if you watch this channel, man, I know you are smelling oh the chain. Yes, uh, yes, uh. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. Hope the family's good. Hope the money coming in. Y'all already know how I give it up here on House of Colossus, man. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. This is your first time here. This is what we do, man. We come in, we have ourselves a good time discussing this art of fragrance. Absolutely free, man. I was, honestly, I honestly believe it's a great place to be, man. You should hit that subscribe button as well as like it, man. And be active in the comment section because, hey, that's where that's where it's popping at. All right, y'all. So, I ain't coming to take up too much of your time. And I actually want to shout out one of my fragrance bros, man, Mikey from over at Ice Mail, man. I actually was inspired to do this video because of him. Uh, he just recently put out a video about his favorite blues, him and the big homie Sam Boone fragrances. Shout out to Sam Boone as well. And I wanted to piggyback off of it, man. The fragrance, the video being my favorite blues, you know what I'm saying? Blue fragrances, man. Blue fragrances are phenomenal. They have their space in this uh, fragrance community, and I like enjoy wearing them. And the likability factor of them is high. And honestly, it's just something that's just inoffensive. They smell good and they're just, they do what they do. They're Swiss Army knives. They work in all facets. So for me, y'all, I wanted to go ahead and rock out with mine, give you my, I think I got seven, seven of my favorite blues. I could have put some other ones in here, but these are the ones that I like the most. Let's hop right into it with the first one, y'all. I believe, I'm not sure if it was Sam Boone or Mikey. No, Mikey did the Parfum version. Me and Sam have the same version. This one coming from the house of Narciso Rodriguez, y'all. And I lose, I use a lot of this. And that one being Blue Noir, Eau de Parfum. Vetiver, grapefruit, iris, powdery, beautiful. Not a long lasting fragrance, at least for my wearing and on my skin, but just a really mass appealing, likable, alluring, yet kind of mysterious type of fragrance, man. I love the way that this stuff smells, man. This is some really, really good juice, man. That that grapefruit, iris, and vetiver type of vibe with the little powderiness of it. It's a really, really nice fragrance. One of my favorite blues definitely being Narcisa Rodriguez Blue Noir Eau de Parfum. My second favorite blue, man, is just a really like a mass appealing bomb, man. Like, I really, really enjoy that. This one gets compared to one of the best blue fragrances of all time. That one coming from the house of Blue de Chanel. This one coming by way of Masoni, y'all. My favorite blue, one of the favorite blues in my collection being Masoni Parfum. Masoni Parfum. So think of this, y'all, and my best way I can describe this. Think of this being Blue de Chanel. You just take out the incense. You take out the incense, that smoky facet that the Blue de Chanel gives you, you take that out and then you get Masoni Parfum. I really, really love this. This is, again, grapefruit, vetiver, woody, mass appealing, likable. Just really, really good, man. Hold on. Pressurized. I really, really enjoy this to this day, man. I've had this for... I think I've had this fragrance since I started doing my YouTube channel. So I've had it about three years, two years. I really, really enjoy this, man. Very, 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 very good juice in this bottle. Hey, one of my favorite blues, Masoni Parfum. Next one I got for y'all, man. Honestly, when I show you the bottle, it's just a very, very likable fragrance, man. This has pear, this has ambroxan, kind of watery as well. I love the way this smells. Another one that don't last a long time, but for the price point of what you can find this at nowadays, just put it on. You can spray as many times as you want. From the house of Coach, one of my favorite blues being Coach for Men. Coach for Men. It works for any age, any guy that's 17, 18, 19, 20 and up. You could put this on uh, a, a fragrance that you don't even have to think about wearing, man. A white t-shirt fragrance, blue t-shirt fragrance, red t-shirt fragrance. It don't matter what you got on. You can put this on. This definitely will do the trick for you. Smells absolutely amazing. One of my favorite blues for sure. As you can see, I've been putting that thing to work. Love the way that smells. That one coming from the house of Coach, y'all. That one being Coach for me. 
Next one, you know, this one's kind of similar to Masoni Parfum, but however, the quality of content that's in this bottle is just far more superior. No knock on Masoni. I really, really love the way this smells, man. This one gets compared to Bulgari Tiger. This one coming, to coming from the house of Offnon, y'all, and that is Offnon Tarathi Blue. This is a fresh, effervescent, aquatic, marine, woody, beautiful scent, man. Long lasting on my skin. This stuff smells absolutely amazing. Definitely has a mass appeal quality to it. Definitely has like this, kind of makes you feel like a boss. Has some confidence in this bottle, man. A confidence enhancer in this bottle. I really, really enjoy this, man. Great for the office setting. Great for all year round. Great for just mass appeal likability factor, man. Love the way it smell that way. Being from Afna, that's Tarathi Butte. Tarathi Blue. Like my shirt. Well, yeah, like my shirt. Anyways, y'all, the next one is another one that they mentioned. Actually, Sam mentioned this one, man, and this is... <sighs> I gotta give me a full bottle of this, but this one coming from the house of Mamasi, y'all, that one is Mamasi Into Me For Him. This one is white florals, watery, watermelon, sweet, woody, not a long lasting fragrance again on my skin, but I don't care about that. I just really enjoy the scent profile of this. This is really, really nice. I don't think they're doing the 10 mils anymore, so you have to, I think you have to commit to a full bottle, but this is really, really good stuff, man. I've been talking about this, I think a year ago when I actually bought this. This is really good stuff, man. One of my favorite blues coming from the house of Mamasi. That one being into me for him. Next one I got for y'all. I'd be a fool if I didn't put it in there. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. At least in my fragrance journey <laughs> right now. But if I didn't own any, if I didn't have a collection and I had just this, I think I would be absolutely okay. Coming from the house of East Saint Laurent. That one being YEDP. East Saint Laurent YEDP being one of my favorite blues. And y'all already know that, man. I love this stuff. Sweet. Cinnamon. Sage. Woody. Goodness. Projection Monster. Lady Killer. This stuff, just, it just does what it, it does what it's supposed to do. It come in, handle the... This is Steph Curry in the fourth. It's clutch. It smells absolutely amazing, man. I really, really enjoy that. I had to put it in here. Definitely being one of my favorite blues from the house of East Saint Laurent, y'all. That one being YEDP. And last but not least, man, another one of my favorite blues, man. This one is a newer acquisition. It's been in my collection for probably about, I don't know. It's been in my collection for a little bit of time right now. Really, really love this one, man. Once I run out of this 10 mil, I will be purchasing a full bottle. I really, really enjoy this one. This one also has like this marine, aquatic, deep, dark, oceanic type of vibe. But there's like this watery watermelon type of vibe on it as well. A fruity melon type of vibe in it. This one coming from the house of Michael Malou London, y'all. This one being Michael Malou London Ocean Noir. Ocean Noir. And I really, really enjoy this, man. From the first time I smelled it in a perfume outlet, this is just really good stuff. Long lasting, again. Smells absolutely amazing. Definitely has a little bit of musky tendencies in there as well. This is a really, really nice fragrance, man. If you know, you know. I personally believe that it's definitely one of my favorite blues for sure. And honestly, the likability factor on that is crazy high as well. And that's going to do it for me, y'all. My name is Jeremy. You are tuned into the House of Colossus. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend about my videos, y'all. Much love from your boy. Oh, but before you go, y'all know y'all got to drop them blue fragrances down in the comment section, y'all. Do y'all agree with some of these? Like, what y'all got? What y'all rocking with? Talk to me, y'all. Y'all know. Until we meet again, much love. Peace. Y'all be safe out there, man.